Ethiopia, a landlocked country on the Horn of Africa, took the first steps towards gaining access to the sea on Monday, signing an agreement in the capital Addis Abeba with a breakaway Somali region of Somaliland to access Somaliland's coastline. According to sources, the agreement was signed by Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed Ali and Somaliland President Mous Bihi Abdi. As part of the deal, Somaliland planned to lease a 20-kilometer stretch of land along its coastline to Ethiopia to establish a naval base. The agreement strengthens the security, economic and political partnership between Ethiopia and Somaliland. However, the deal has provoked a reaction from Somali officials. After an emergency cabinet meeting on Tuesday, Somalia rejected the deal signed on Monday between its breakaway region of Somaliland and Ethiopia. The East African country said the pact had no legal validity and would threaten regional stability. Somaliland is part of Somalia under the Somali constitution and this agreement signed without any legal basis would recognize the region as an independent nation in due course. Somalia has called the deal a clear violation of its sovereignty, freedom and unity. The country has called on the international community to offer its support, appealing to the United Nations, the African Union, the Arab League and the East African Regional Grouping, among others to stand by Somalia. In a telephone call with Somali President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud, Egyptian President Abdul Fattah al-Sisi assured that Egypt will maintain a firm position alongside Somalia and support its security and stability. The European Union, for its part, criticized the agreement, calling for respect for Somalia's unity, sovereignty and territorial integrity. The deal comes just days after Somalia and Somaliland agreed to resume dialogue following talks mediated by Djibouti last week.